Hi, welcome to the third part of the Spur Gear housing in category 5. First, I have to correct some small mistakes. I've noticed I've created those two planes twice. And I've got those dimensions wrong. This should be 72.5 and minus 72.5. So let's change this to 72.5 and minus 72.5 and there was another small mistake here so those two should be 135 so that should be 135 and this should be minus 135 sorry for those small mistakes but that's one big advantage of such planes. You can easily change those planes and the model should not crash. Okay, I will need two reference points. So let's go for a point. And one should be, no, not on plane, but with coordinates. So X should be zero, Y should be minus, we can calculate it, minus 135, minus 77.5, like this, which should be 57.5, minus, that's okay, and set should be 85. And the reference point is the origin, so this should give me a point right here. And the second point has a distance from this one in the y direction of 100. So we can do it like that. Use as reference point, point 1, this one. And then in relation to this point, the coordinates are 0, 100 in y direction, and set should be 0. And okay, which gives me that second reference point here. So let's insert a new body. So go for insert body. So that's body seven. Those two points in the geometry set are okay. Let's hide the other bodies or make just this body visible. And that would be possible like this. But then I can't see the geometrical set. So. Let's hide those bodies like that and the one at the top as well. Now that's the active body. So I want to have a sketch on the Y set plane over here. Let's hide as usual those elements. Okay. And I want to bring in that point. Or I could try it like this. Go for a circle with 112 in diameter and then this point should be right on this one. I don't have to project it, would be good practice, but let's do it like that. It's easy constraint, leave that sketch and I want to make an extrude and that extrude should go in both directions up to the planes with 62.5. So let's go for an extrude. This should go up to a plane in one direction and up to a second plane in the other direction. And the first plane would be the 62.5 plane, this one here, that's plane 8. And the second one should be the minus 62.5, which should be plane 9. And confirm. Nice. Now I can do it in a new body or I can do it in the same body. Maybe I do it in the same body. That would be okay. So let's do another sketch right there. Again, hide those elements as usual. 
let's draw another circle again this should be a diameter of 112 and this point should be right on that point here coincident finish that sketch make another extrude make it again up to a plane and also in the second direction up to a plane so this one should be this plane here and that one should be that plane here and confirm great now let's hide this body I will need another new body so go for insert body it would be good practice to rename those bodies but I will keep it like that so I will need another sketch again on the YZ plane I will hide those as usual I'll need a rectangle maybe like that and I don't want to use those parallel constraints so I will delete them now dimensions this should be 205 by 90 and this should be symmetric to that plane here so let's go for symmetry allow symmetry line this one here and it should be centered in the middle of those two points so how can I achieve that without using the midpoint which I can't use in Katiwi 5 I could use uh, dimension or I could make an equidistant point right here in the middle yeah so not quite sure what to do let's go for a dimension so this is 205 that distance is 100 so it should be 52.5 from this point to that line and from this point to this line so maybe do it like that let's select this one here select that one here and make it 52.5 that should do the trick let's check it out maybe do a reference dimension here and make it for reference so that's centered nice leave that sketch now that extrude should go up to this plane but stop uh, 2.5 millimeter before and that's possible because we can use an offset so let's go for an extrude did I do already a new body or did I yes I have a new body so let's go for an extrude and let's go up to a plane in one direction that would be this plane that's the 62.5 plane like that but I want to stop before so I think I have to go for a minus 2.5 offset which should stop right before so the profile would be this one let's check it out that minus seems okay yeah and in the other direction it should go up to this plane here and stop with an offset and that should be maybe 2.5 let's see if it's 2.5 or it's minus 2.5 it's always hard to tell no it's the other way around so it's again minus 2.5 because it stops before depends on the program of course looks okay so let's confirm this great and maybe hide that body as well so we'll need another body okay 
and I want to make a sketch on the XY plane. So we'll go for position one because I want to control the camera. So that would move like this. That's okay, yeah, we can go for that. Let's hide those. And I need a rectangle, maybe like that. And I don't want to use those parallel constraints in regard to those constraints. I have a dedicated video which explains those actions. Just look for the KTV five basic videos. So let's delete those. And now I want to add a dimension. So this should be, I think, uh, 50. And the other dimension should be 100. And let's make it symmetric with that axis here and also symmetric to the other one like this here. Finish that sketch and let's make an extrude with that sketch, yes, and that should go up to this plane here, to the top plane, up to plane, to this plane, and confirm. Great. Maybe show all the bodies just to check if I'm Okay, and bring in the last body up here. Yeah, this looks okay. I will need another extrude in that direction. It should be sort of an L shape, and that L shape should go like this, if I'm not mistaken. So that's, yeah, that's okay. So maybe hide those bodies once more. Like, yeah, like this. Okay. And I need a sketch on the ZX or XZ plane. So I want to go for position one in order to control the camera. Yeah, and of course I forgot to make a new body, so let's make a new body. In that body, okay, and now we can do a sketch right there, and then it would be visible on this one. And I want to swap H and V, so it looks like that, that's, that's okay. Hide those, as usual. And I will need a shape which looks something like, no, not this, but like that. Okay. I don't want to use those constraints. Let's remove them like this. Now, this distance should be, come on, 70. This should be 30. That distance should be 40. And that distance should be 15. Now, this should be symmetric to the set axis, and this line should be collinear with the minus 12 plane. Where is it? With this one here. And make it coincident. This looks okay, so leave that sketch. 
And now this extrude should go up to the last plane and then plus 2.5 or 2 millimeter. So let's go for another extrude, make it up to a plane in both directions, like that. Select maybe this plane and add an offset of 2 millimeter or well, maybe 2.5. I would have to check and in the other direction and again make it an offset of 2.5 or 2. So let's go for 2 millimeter and confirm. So this should be a little bit more than those planes. That's okay. Let's use a tritangent fillet which should be available over here. There you go. So, first face, opposite face, face to remove and confirm. Great. And let's bring back all bodies. And one at the top as well. Yeah, looks okay. Maybe this is a little bit small. So it it's it's too small because this here should be inside that fillet. So maybe just maybe I've used a wrong value for that draft. It should be three degrees. Let's check it out. It's the first body here this one oh yeah another small mistake seems that that day i was not at the top of my game okay so that looks legit yeah this looks okay yes that looks pretty good so i hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook, X and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.